The only thing we hate about these cattle gates is that they're guaranteed to sag. So we added three special touches to prevent this. First stop was the metal store to get the hardware. All right, boys, you always know it's good to grease the tip before putting it in. Installation time. And she's in. When I buy these cattle gates, I always upgrade the bolts. Here we got grade eight steel, which we're going to have bolted on each side and tack welded in place. This step it is ideal for drilling the holes. But ours was super dull, so adjustments were made. This is not average, ladies. This is oversized. In the end, it's the little ones that suffer. Yeah, folks, is why you don't use a wood bit on metal. In order to fully strengthen this hardware, the gate What did you see so far? Hey, we know these guys. I want to say for the record in the very beginning, they're a very hardworking couple. Respect the hustle. However, this is the second one of these gates they've done, and they did things a little bit differently on this gate, it looks like, but there's a lot of the same mistakes. So we really want to reach out to them. The first thing I see is more of these terrible, terrible hinges. Those hinges are so bad. I was actually happy to hear that they were welding them in place, though. Like They're great. welding them on the posts. We'll see if they weld them on the gate, but even if they weld them on the gate, it's 16-gauge tubing. Correct. They, they slip. They're known for slipping needed to be adjusted so we cut the existing weld and he hammered it to the desired size so that it would fit better on the bolt nope. oh my gosh this is even worse than the last one that look at all the play in that thing holy buckets a little wobbly that's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway you can't do that i don't know if they're gonna weld that they're cutting things apart and doing my they just uh, could we just start off with good hardware to begin with is it too much to ask if you want to have a gate that for sure has problems in the future, continue using this hardware on extremely heavy gates. That's my advice. Uh, I 100% agree. Beef up the hardware. They're already round pipe to round pipe, so they could use chain link gate hardware. Commercial bulldog hinges, 180 degree hinges. Yeah. That's if you can't weld. If you can weld, weld on hinges. Yeah, weld on hinges would be, and greasable hinges. Well, or even not even a greasable. They make some that are sealed for lifetime. They're yeah, ready to go. Yeah, just an internal bushing. The, one of the favorites we have is the badass hinges from Shut It that we saw on our website. Link down below for those. Honestly, that's what we would be using is we would be using some badass hinges. Whatever configuration, they've got flat so you can bolt them. They've got weld on. There's just a ton of different configurations so that if you don't have a welder or you can't weld, they have a hinge solution for you. Another option would be the shark hinges, which go to round, round hardware. And I know Joe Everest has those in his store. I'm not sure what that is. We'll try and put a link down below to those shark hinges. They're not quite as nice and they're as the badass. A much more solid option than this, for sure. Agreed. Agreed. And again, we're using a store-bought frame. This frame is even worse than the last one. This is definitely an 18-gauge frame, and it's inch 5 8 So it's very, very light duty, which means you really can't weld to it because it's so light duty, all the weight is probably going to tear through the steel over time with the way it is, or it's going to sag and it's going to bend. And it's, it's not even a good base platform to begin with. The schedule of that gate is meant to hold the weight of its own self, yep. not additional weight of additional materials. Yeah, yep. 100%. A new weld was added. Once the hardware was all bulked up, addition number two came in. Cattle gates sag when you put weight on them. They're not designed to have two by fours and pickets on them. So what I did is I welded a top rail all the way across the inside corner to corner to strengthen it. After the weld, it was spray painted. Nope. The non welder out. Okay. He called it. They're not meant for it. He did do a solid and put the top rail in there. However, a truss rod would have done the same job and instead of doing it like he did, because that gate's a little wider and we've exceeded that 45 degree angle, I would have used a truss rod and gone from the very top of the gate down to the middle and then from the top of the middle down to the bottom of the latch side. So there would have been two truss rods, but that's a better way of doing that. The pipe is just a hard way of doing that. You could do the truss rod with very little welding and probably some bolts. Again, starting with a better platform than this is ultimately what we would want to see done. You could probably still use an anti-sag kit. Yeah, one of the yeah. anti-sag kits that we sell. And one of the big takeaways that I'm looking at right here is make sure and paint your gate before you actually put your wood on it. Well, I was also wondering why they would use a wire-filled gate and then cover it up. There's really not a whole lot of point in doing a wire-filled gate when you're just going to cover it up with wood. That serves no purpose. Correct. Just use a cable across, and you can attach whatever hinge you like. Last addition, he added some wheels onto it and a drop rod. Hug it. What is the purpose of a wheel? On a swing gate. Because you know it sags. It's because your gate post is undersized. Yeah. So your gate is dragging your gate post over. Therefore, you have to have a wheel. If you just size your post correct in the beginning, you never need a wheel. Big enough gate post, enough concrete, and enough depth, you don't need a wheel. If you have to put a wheel on it, you've done something wrong. That's my opinion. Because the wheel is only ever going to touch and maybe like one spot. Correct. Wheels don't, don't go on gates. No. Not on swing gates. Not on swing gates. No. 
I, I guess I do see it. It's down there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, just a little, little caster wheel, wheel or something. Be a little wheel. You know, so it's helping to support the weight when the gate's shut, which it's probably shut 90% of the time. But then when you open it and then that post starts leaning because it's still not heavy enough, then it starts getting out of, t out of whack over time. And if this was like the last one and it's only set two and a half feet deep or something, then this... Is that latch backwards? I'm thinking that latch is backwards. There's two different ways to put those on. Okay. There is. You can either do no, it... No, there's my way or there's the highway. Hey, you can there's put those on. There's only one way to put a latch on. The peg goes on the gate. I work with idiots. That Working a family is fun. No. Alan, we can have this debate. I'm not you listening. Can, you can install the latch one way. <laughs> one way so you pull <laughs> down to open it. So we hope that you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Hey, it's, it's, nobody it's, wants to know why you would install the latch <laughs> the other way. Nobody wants to know. Hey, okay, fine, I'll listen. It's for Fido. One way you pull down on the latch and it opens the gate. The other way you pull down on the latch and it does nothing. You have well, to go up on the latch. Well, you can pull the screws and you can flip the latch over. Exactly. And it's an up then, so Fido yeah. can't hit that up. Yeah, and get exactly. Out. There's two ways. No, but they. But okay, they rewind the, film. They have the the receiver on the gate, not the peg. Okay, I didn't see what you're saying. I'll have to watch. Out there, just use a cable across, and you can attach whatever hinge you like. See? Last edition. Added oh yeah, okay. The receiver half is on the gate, not on yeah. the latch post. We put the strike on the gate instead of the. You and like ninety eight percent. But of may, others. yeah, I don't know. Maybe they don't want to attach that to the house or something. I, I would also. I don't know if there was a post there. I would have also set another um, post right at the house for specifically for latching. Yeah, it was probably a corner issue where they were probably gonna, ha if they had the receiver part up against the house, that it was gonna be hard to access the handle, I bet. Okay, I agree okay. with you. You're not an idiot yet. I bet you somebody else would disagree. <laughs> yeah, we'll hear all about it. <laughs> all three of you guys are morons. Thank you. So anyhow, I would have set a, I would have set a gate post up at the house, and I think all of us would have done that. And then you wouldn't have had to attach it's... the house. And you wouldn't have had to worry about if the gate swings really hard and snaps that thing off, ripping out the corner of your trim or whatever else. So. Even if it's just bolting a post down next to the house, yeah. if there's an existing sidewalk there. Bolt, hey, bolt one of down our... all day long. You know, attach the house? No. Yeah, no, bolt down. Never. Like those Postmaster bolt down posts that we saw. Mm -hmm. yeah. Down below, there's a link down below. If you just need one for a latch, it's perfect. It bolts right down a couple of holes and boom, done. That's all I have to say about that. Well, we hope that you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. I sure didn't. <laughs> I'm Dan with SWI. I'm Mark with SWI. I'm Alan with SWI. If you guys want to see another one of our reaction videos, make sure and see that right here. We hope you have a good day. Why over my head? Right here. Put it right here, Nick. <laughs> That's where he pointed. Why couldn't it be his head?